Hello, you guys. Today I want to do a look with you that is heavily, heavily, heavily requested by clients, like everyday people, people who book me like baby showers, special events, brunches, dinners. This is kind of like the Brentwood mom look, if you will. And I'm going to show you how we do that um, because it's really popular amongst the women I work with and many of us on this channel are all girls. So we're already zoomed in. We do have a quick sponsor today and that is Ana Luisa. All of Ana Luisa's rings and earrings. I've got some new ones to show you. Um, these I've been saving until we make this collab. I've had them for a couple weeks, but it's kind of like a little door knocker, this one. And then this is a solid gold hoop. I already have one in in a slightly bigger size. So I'm gonna put these in side by side. They have a quality guarantee. They will replace things within a certain time frame if anything happens to your jewelry. So uh, you can invest and rest assured that you will get what you pay for, which I love with this brand. I haven't had anything tarnished or anything, and I've been using this brand now, I want to say like a year and a half, maybe close to two years now, which is crazy. They have solid gold and then also gold plated, gold filled, uh, more affordable options. These both are solid gold. I'll have everything in the link down below. So if there's somebody that you want to gift for Valentine's Day, or if you want to gift yourself, which is kind of my vibe all the time, then definitely check them out. It's the season for giving. I can't wait for Valentine's Day. I think I have a Valentine, but I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, that's Anna Luisa. These are actually all Anna Luisa, all except for I think that one. This, 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 and this. And yeah, I did just get that cute door knocker ring too. And then this one has a third that's over here because I just wanted to give this hand some love as well. Um, so yeah, that's Anna Luisa. Thank you, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into our glam. I already have a bit of base on today because my clients are natural girlies. This is California where everybody wants to look perfect um, and effortless, but don't want to be seen in like heavy visible makeup. It's like just the vibe, the West Coast vibe. So I'm just gonna start with a little Dreamlight Glow as an eye base. And then just blend that out with a fluffy brush. This is gonna be more of an eye tutorial, but we'll put like a little lip and cheek to tie it together. But I do have on my Purely's eye base already, or face base already. Now let's start with our shadows. So a lot of my clients like these pale goldy colors uh, paired with a pink lip. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take that same brush and we're gonna wash this gold all over the lid. This is the Pat McGrath palette, um, which one? Divine Rose. And everything that woman makes is gold, seriously. I'll just use my finger instead because you get more color payoff that way. And this is gonna be easy to follow along. So if you're not super confident, I'm pretty sure that you could get this and then this could just be your usual. I have a lot of clients who are like, I don't know what to do when you can't do my makeup. And I'm like, you need to learn one look, just one look and you perfect it. You do it again and again and again. And then once you nail that one look, then learn another. Because makeup, it takes time and you learn the rules first and then you break them because there really aren't rules. And there's a bunch of narcs on social media always telling me like, I shouldn't do this or I shouldn't do that. Um, but really there are no rules, but it helps in a learning perspective to learn a little bit of like general information and then go from there. I'm gonna take a little bronzer and I'm just gonna do a little crease of the eye. And it would depend on who my client was if I would go much darker in the crease. For a lot of moms and working women, I wouldn't because they wanna look kinda natural, but some eyes or darker features, like it just depends on your complexion, your skin tone, your eye shape. Some eyes are too, uh, too almond to do a really dark crease and have it look natural and some are not. So for me, I'm just barely doing a little bit of brown right here, like just hardly. Just to add a little dimension and on some people I wouldn't and on some people I would take it much further. Just depends on a myriad of things really, but kind of tailor it to you. 
And then I'll go in with a brown eyeliner. The moms love brown. Um, the Brentwood Mom Special. And I really like kind of pulling it out like this too. And I find that when people are afraid of makeup, they're often not afraid of eyeliner though. They're more afraid of like heavy shadows and stuff, which isn't really my vibe anyway, so it works out. And then again, just a little flick. This is Sunnyvale from ColourPop. I always talk about this, I always tag it. It's my favorite brown eyeliner. I did like an individual video on this eyeliner today. It's still kind of in my lash line. And then yeah, we'll take the same pencil and go into the lash line. Gorge. And then most of my clients like an opened eye effect as opposed to like a super smoky, sultry eye. So when they do want that, and I want this often too, I'll use a white, a baby pink, a nude, whatever it may be, even a champagne light gold um, in the waterline, and this will open the eye right up. This is sort of like a doll eye effect trick. When you do the liner here and here, and then open up the eye, see, it just does look more pronounced, bigger, more awake. And this is in the shade Calabasas. Perfect, honestly. A Calabasas mom would definitely wear this too. And then these clients would usually do individual lashes. I can't be bothered right now. Oh, can I? I? I will be bothered. Um, because you know, it's the right thing to do. I'm gonna use some medium, short, and extra short clusters. Usually I would do medium and short, but I'm out of um, short in cluster form. So that's where the singles will come in. And you guys, if you can't get a lash on, I encourage you to try clusters. They're wider than just individuals, see? It's like three individuals in one, and they're easier to apply especially if you have a good pair of tweezers. A good pair of tweezers is essential to any sort of lash applicator. This tweezer is by Japanesque. I also really like lash extension tweezers because they, um, they're longer, so it's easier to reach. And I usually do about three to four medium clusters and then I'll switch sizes. If I'm using a lash serum, I can get away with more, but I am using a lash serum, but I don't know. Still feel kind of short right now. I'm gonna keep these on for my date tonight. I'm seeing this guy tonight. It's kind of my favorite lash to use around boys because they just don't, they just don't see it as much as they could see a strip lash. Okay, I have two extra shorts and then I'm gonna fill in this gap with short singles. I did this kind of backwards, but it's because I'm just wanting to avoid the short singles. It's harder to apply. It's still not hard. I mean, you can see it get it on there pretty quickly, but one versus three, it's more time consuming, a little more annoying. So there's the first eye. A Brentwood mom would love it. Kind of roasting these moms, but they kept me afloat for years and years and years. God bless them. Let's go back into the other side with the extra shorts. I'm a little, I'm being a little salty because some of them were the meanest clients, but some were also the kindest and most generous. It just depends on the one. Shouldn't generalize people, but oh my God, some of these women are bullies. I had one woman in my makeup chair in Brentwood, Brentwood mom, token Brentwood mom, and she did not book me, her friend did. And 
they were all incredibly late. And then she tried not to pay me. Um, and then I had to do her friends. Oh, and then she got up out of the chair because I had started on her like 15 minutes prior. She told me what she wanted. She showed me a bunch of pictures of Kim Kardashian. So I was like, okay, we're going like pretty glam then. Yeah. And she was like, yes, but not too glam. Like she was like explaining to me what she wanted. And I'm like, well, Kim definitely has like lashes on. And so I put some medium individuals on her, which is what I'm wearing now. They're not so crazy, right? If you're showing me a picture of Kim Kardashian, I'm assuming that short, <laughs> short lashes are too short. So that was my mistake. Um, I start putting them on and then she starts looking in her phone and I'm purposely not giving her the mirror because I know a crazy person when I see one, I know how these people can be. And I want to get ahead of them. So I want to do a bit of makeup on them before they can start saying, oh my God, oh my God, you know, like freaking out. And she was definitely one to freak out. She came in really loud and aggressive. So she starts saying the lashes are way too long. And I'm like, okay, well, let's change them. I'll, I'll do them shorter. But just to let you know, like the photo, there's definitely a longer lash there. And she's upset with me, but I'm like, rolling with the punches eventually i think she let me work keep working for another five minutes before being like okay this is good enough i'm good i'm good and getting out of the makeup chair she got out of the makeup chair she didn't let me finish but i said okay that'll be 150 and she paid me no tip but i was paid and then next i had to do her friend who was insulted by my presence just because her friend like had a problem with me because you know if you have a problem with me I'm just going to kind of set you straight because I'm going to do your makeup or I'm not going to do it um and so then her friend tried not to pay me I'm going to blend out this eye off camera because the camera's getting hot I'll tell you that story when I come back okay I'm back so I did her friend's makeup next oh and by the way I'm going to do a tiny amount of black eyeliner just at the base of the line, the lash, because it's just going to pop the eye more without looking like liner heavy. Um, okay, so I finished doing her and then I had to do her friend. I was there booked to do like three or four people and they were all late and they were almost all very rude to me. So I did her makeup and she liked it and she actually let me finish. She tried to not like make the Venmo go through. So I'm like, okay, I'll take your payment right now before you move on to hair. Cause I'm going to leave here in a minute. And at first she didn't want to, she was like, I'll send you a Venmo and trying to get out of the chair. And I was like, no, cause your friend's mad at me. I'll take, I'll take your payment now. And I said it politely and I didn't reference that her friend is mad at me. Of course. I was just like, I, I I'll just get it now. Cause I have to leave soon. So she scans my Venmo, but doesn't put it through. She says how much types in the number and then goes, okay, you should have had it. And so I'm like, okay, I saw her pull of her Venmo. So for a minute, like I believed her and then I start prepping to either leave or do one more person. I can't remember. And then I refresh my Venmo. No money came through, nothing. So she's still in the room. So I go up to her and I'm like, Hey, can you, uh, can you check and see if that went through? Cause I didn't see it on my end. And she said it did, it did go through. And I was like, uh, respectfully, no, it didn't. So then she pulled it open and it was still on my page and it still just had the number and hadn't sent it through. So then I watched her send it through. This is a pure lease baby pink lip. These girls love a pink baby pink lip. Um, so the payment ends and I quit annoying her, but the audacity. And then my client who was responsible for me for having me there today, she booked me for all services, walks in and she sees kind of her friends like treating me this way. And she doesn't even say anything. So I didn't want it to be her problem. And I was never going to say anything to her, but I also wasn't going to service her anymore. So then I never saw her again. And I had done her makeup for like all her major events, but I was like, you're letting your friends act like this towards me. I'm not doing you either. And not only that, but she had known me for like a year and she still didn't know my first name. 
She'd been calling me by my last name. She was Venmoing me, so I know that she knew my name. She thought my name was Harper. So yeah, that was that. Pretty undramatic story, honestly. Uh, also, I added a little nude lipstick. This is discontinued. You guys see me using this all the time. It's Bosom Friend. It is discontinued. I'm just going to add a little of this to the cheek. And this is kind of the Brentwood Mom vibe. Natural, golden eye, pink cheek, pink lip. Not a ton on the skin. Not too much contour, anything. And then, of course, adjusted according to skin tone, eye shape, etc. But, like, very similar across the board. You just change the tones accordingly and stuff. So, yeah. This is our look. Thank you for getting ready with me. And thank you, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring today's video. I love Anna Luisa. I'm a big fan, so I appreciate them working with me. And I appreciate you guys watching. Not super juicy today, but always, always a little story time. Always, there's just always something. So yeah, this is our Brentwood mom bitchy glam look. Don't tell them I said that. See you for the next one.